Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain reference variable in C++. So so far, uh, we are having pointer in C, and in C++, a new type of variable is added that is reference variable. So uh, reference variable is actually a, a second name given to a variable. So we are going to see this program, and uh, we will see how to create a reference variable, how to use it. And what are the properties of reference variable? So let's create a simple variable. So, uh, so here in this line, if you can see, uh, we are having a memory allocated for variable a, and this twelve will be stored in that memory. So, and variable is actually a named location for a memory. So wherever this value is stored, name of that memory location is A, or that memory location can be accessed by this name A. So reference variable, uh, this is a way to assign a different name for this variable. Let's say we want to create two variables, but both uh, need to point same memory location. So how to declare a reference variable, uh, data type, and then at the address operator what name you want to assign second name this name will be treated as second name and then equal to a so here this statement is saying that variable a now having one more name and that name is b so you can access value of variable a using name a or using b now regarding reference variable you need to know that whenever you declare a reference variable at that time you have to initialize this variable Okay, uh, this is not allowed like we declare this variable here and in next line we are initializing. So in reference variable declaration plus initialization has to be in a single statement. So here if we are going to print value of B, it will print uh, why that? Okay, so actually we we wrote u instead of using so compile our program is compiled so our value is actually 12 so this is the same value stored in a so regarding reference variable uh, keep in mind initialization plus declaration we have to initialize a reference variable at the time of declaration second thing now there is no null reference concept regarding reference variable like then see we can have a pointer which is not having any address stored in them so we can call them dangling pointer but here if a reference variable is there that reference variable definitely will be pointing to a valid memory location so reference variable are considered safe as compared to pointer so next what we are going to do we are going to write a simple program to swap to number with the help of reference variable so so here instead of passing a variable we will pass we will use their reference variable and here I will declare two variables x and y I will initialize x value 12 y value 35 I will print value of x and y before calling function and here I will call swap function I will pass x y and then again I print value So here what we are doing, we are uh, uh, taking reference variable for swapping these two numbers and then I will write that same concept A equal to A plus B and then uh, B equal to A minus B A equal to A minus B. A 
Okay. So when we pass these two variables x, y, this x will be stored in this reference variable. So now a and b, these are also pointing memory location pointed by x and y. So if we perform any updation on those memory location that can be seen using x and y. So let's execute this program. Okay, so we are having one error. Uh, what is that? What show? What show expected before? In 15. So here we have to return 0. Okay. And we miss the semicolon here. So we will again compile, compiled, then we will run it. So before swapping x value was 12, y value was 45, but after swapping x value become 45 and y value become 12. So this is a simple example of swapping with help of reference variable. Thank you very much.